this is a Roomba, and this is the Roomote iPhone app. You can use it to control your Roomba from your iPhone. Unfortunately, I can't talk to the Roomba directly, so I have a server program running on my Mac. Once that's started up, you can connect to that, and the server app will relay commands over Bluetooth to the Roomba. There's three types of interface. We'll start with the button one. You can see there are just some simple buttons that we can send commands to the Roomba. Tell it to go forward or backwards. Spin in place. Or do whatever else we want. There's also several other button commands down here. You can make the Roomba beep. Turn on its lights. Turn on the vacuum. We've also got a swipe mode where you use touch gestures to control the Roomba. Swipe forward to go forward, backwards to go backwards. If you go in a circle, it'll spin around. And if you swipe to the right, it will go forward right. Swipe back and to the left, it'll go back and to the left. The length of your swipe controls how much it turns. And we've also got the accelerometer mode. Got to have that with an iPhone, right? If you tilt forward, the Roomba will move forward. The more you tilt, the faster it will go. Tilt backward and to the left. It will turn backward and to the left. You can tr control your maximum velocity with the slider. And hitting the stop button will disable all accelerometer commands while that's on. We've also got some built-in demos that the server hosts. For example, we can tell the Roomba to go in, just uh, run a spiral pattern by selecting that demo and having it run. And stop the demo like that. We can make the uh, the Roomba sing a song How about the uh, Indiana Jones theme. You get the idea there. So you can see it's a lot of fun to make the Roomba go around with your iPhone, and I uh, hope you enjoy it.